Hi everybody, Joshua Flex Trades here, and today I'm joined by some of the team from Westminster Tool and from Mantle. They have a really exciting partnership going on. They're working with some super innovative technologies. They're gonna tell us a little bit more about their companies and what we should be checking out here at PT Expo 2023. Hi guys, uh, my name is MJ Belmont. I'm from Westminster Tool. I'm in uh, sales project management. A little bit unique, we don't really have job titles here. We really focus on wearing multiple hats at Westminster Tool and basically flowing value to our customers whenever is needed. Yeah, so my president, Ray Coombs, right around 2013, he kind of saw the skills gap challenge that's coming up. And he realized, hey, if I don't do anything, I'm going to be out of business within 10 years. Mm -hmm. So he went through this whole cultural journey, visited multiple shops throughout Germany, Japan, traveled the country trying to learn whatever he could to change the way and kind of grow the next generation. So he really got involved with community colleges, the local state representatives, got grant money funded, started this new Eastern Advanced Manufacturing Alliance program where all of our local manufacturers in the area came together and really was a powerful group for our state. Awesome. I love that story. I mean, part of why we're here today to see the booth is Literally, you guys are a little bit forward thinking. We walk around here and ask people, can we show off your booth? We had Scott come walking up saying, I want to show you what we have. We have some really innovative stuff. So you're already thinking differently. And that's going back a decade plus now at your company. Right. Super cool. If you want to hand the microphone to Scott, now this is the Mantle team. We're here doing two booths at once because they do have a really innovative partnership they're going to tell us about. But some introductions to your team first, Scott. Thanks, Josh. Uh, I am Scott Kramer, uh, Senior Application Engineer here at Mantle. I've been here for about four years, but started consulting with the company since it started about 2016. Been in the tooling world for over 32 years, so mold design, mold build, pretty much everything under the sun having to do with that. Uh, but I came on to help kind of direct the, the development of the machine mm -hmm. and uh, to bring it to where it is today. Awesome. So, okay, who's with you and the rest of the team? How's it going? I am uh, Ethan Steele. I've been in the tooling world now for about five weeks, but I've been in the out of manufacturing world for about eight years. And uh, I brought myself to Mantle by hunting them down after I saw the quality of the parts they were producing. And I wanted to be a part of the team. So I'm now part of their inside sales. And if you reach out to us on our website, I'll reach out to you. If you don't reach out to us on our website, but I managed to find your information, I'll reach out to you anyway. <laughs> it's uh, mantle3d.com if you want to save me the trouble. Go ahead, Dana. Hi, everyone. I'm Dana McCallum. I'm our VP of sales at Mantle. Um, Mantle's based out of San Francisco. And I started with the company about two and a half years ago. We're creating a technology where we're helping automate and simplify the tool making process. So we've had a, as you mentioned, Josh, we have a great partnership with Westminster Tool where they have our beta machine. They received it last summer and they've been doing a wonderful job of pushing our technology to the limits and helping us create tooling inserts that you can't make any other way. And we've been pushing for a long time. We need to do things differently in this industry. Um, these intentional partnerships, these hunting down employment with the company that fits you right, th this crowdsourcing, even the interview in the booth, this is not the norm. You guys are obviously very much a company that's trying to do things differently than your competitors have been doing up to this point. The using technology in the tool and die industry where that skill set and that experience is even harder to replace than in general CNC production or manual machining, it, it's, it's very much needed. So, so tell me, what is the thing that really sets you apart from more traditional tool and die companies that are out there? You know, we're based out of San Francisco. We have that startup mentality. We have a young group, but then we also have experienced people that are continuing to give us feedback and continuing to push our technology where it needs to be for a market fit in the tooling world. It's an exciting technology where we can automate and simplify the tool making process where we're removing, you know, traditional steps, machining steps, EDM steps um, to make tooling inserts. And you can just do it all in our technology. Awesome. Um, we've also built a software where it automates the tooling paths, um, both subtractive and additive, where you don't need a skilled tool maker to mm -hmm. run our technology. So anyone, including myself, could learn to run our machines. I mean, there's a lot of information out there about AI right now with what chat GPT's done. But as a person that's in here going, all right, this skill and this experience is part of what's teaching the machine to do it right. When you're comparing to a more traditional programming path, is there anything that you guys are lacking yet as far as repeatability, accuracy, or that, that automated software is just checking all the boxes? So I, I did programming for about 10 years, CNC programming, and we've tried to take uh, not just my knowledge, but all the knowledge in the industry itself and apply it to the Cutter Path programs for the parts themselves. Um, as you can see on the parts here, they're uh, 
The surface finish is, is pretty spectacular. We're cutting flats with end mills, we're cutting contours with ball cutters, typically like you would yeah. in a learning process, right? But we've automated it all. In this day and age, there's a lot of older staff. They're retiring and there's not a whole lot of younger generation that really wants to work at their hands or, or get their hands dirty or do this type of, um, of jobs. So we've seen that as an opportunity to develop something to help with that, right? With our technology, as Dana had mentioned, being automated, it allows for anybody to run our system. Literally to see to the parts you see here on the table, it's about one hour of touch time, right? For a person to get to this. So we're helping, we're not replacing mold makers by any means, yeah. right? This is, think of it as, as Josh, like, or I'm sorry, as Ethan likes to say, it's another tool maker that add onto your staff. What so. it's doing is it's equalizing access. You know, there's always yes. been these barriers to entry in this field. I mean, you have to have some skill, you have to have some knowledge, you have to show up but now we're able to reduce a little bit that skill and that previous knowledge so that we can focus on those things that we really need the people to bring, their physical selves, their, their creativity yes. and whatnot. So I love this. Now, when we do these tours, especially when we're on the last day of a show like this, I always say for those in our network that are watching this interview sometime after today, and they couldn't make it to the show. What's one or two things on your table or at your booth that you want them to make sure that they know about going forward or that they've seen? Uh, I would say the, the first thing is we're, we're printing tooling steel, mm -hmm. right? Uh, not a lot of people are printing tooling steel, they're printing steel, right? Stainless steel, whatever, but it's not made for tooling. We are a company strictly focused on the tooling industry, right? We're printing tooling itself, we're printing in tooling steel. Uh, you can do conformal cooling, there's a lot of variations and it opens up design freedom, mm -hmm. right? For your actual molds itself, which we were locked down to how things had to be done traditionally. We've opened up the opportunities. Super cool. I think the uh, one, of the, one of the most attractive things about Mantle and what it's bringing to the table in terms of bridging the gap between additive and subtractive is doing both mm -hmm. simultaneously. It's a it's a 3D printer that's been built into the inside of a three-axis robo drill that we've heavily modified to make it a 3D printer. And while these parts are technically 3D printed, by the time they're finished, they're more CNC than they are 3D printed. The 3D printer exists on the interior in the interior of that system to build you that net shape, and then it's going to CNC for that precise detail that you can't get with 3D printing. We have denser metal than you get in other 3D printed processes, lower shrink, which means higher precision and more uh, and better maintenance of the external uh, or the, the feature details. So all the different things that I, in the history of my career in 3D printing, that I had to tell people, unfortunately, we couldn't do were the things that Mantle is doing that attracted me to Mantle. And because people are already familiar with CNC, there's a FANUC controller on the outside of the system. They know FANUC, they know these systems. They know what this is doing, so we can talk both worlds simultaneously to bridge that gap, yeah. rather, than, rather than try to introduce them to a technology that is so completely foreign that it's gonna be that much more difficult to adopt. We're already halfway there because we're leveraging what already exists in the world of their knowledge. And for those that are watching this that maybe aren't in the industry currently, they're thinking about getting into the industry, they're new to the industry, this is the real benefit of technology. There's so much technology out there right now. Everybody talks about what that tech is, but where tech really benefits industry is when one technology, another technology can intersect and really take the best of both worlds and make that happen. MJ, I'd love to hear about how partnering with them and, and their machine is, is uh, kind of impacting your production. And then what should we see out of your booth? Same question I gave them. Yeah, so I'll start with our partnership with Mantle. Obviously it's been great. They've been really introducing us to a lot of like the OEMs, which we really haven't been able to get our foot into the door at the time. Mm -hmm. Another part of it is allowing us to get early on into the project. We are typically dealing with after the R&D phase, after all of the prototype tooling and everything like that. But what this is allowing us to do is really get our foot in the door and learn all of those problems that are happening early on in prototyping. So it's really just ex expanding your horizons in pretty much any direction you want to take them by being able to partner with someone that's outside of what you're already doing the best and, and really helping you grow. It's in getting the best us direction. better. Yeah. It's getting us better. It's helping us look out for our customer in that back end sampling and getting the tool to them quicker, right? That's really what we try to focus on at Westminster Tool is that front end uh, value add services in our engineering area mm -hmm. where we really want to cut that lead time down in half. I love everything, not just about this partnership, but the way you guys introduce it and talk about it. Because one of the things I've been doing, trying to do a lot since I came to Flex Trades with the webinars we put out, with our interactions at the tech school level, with the stuff we even put to the younger than tech school, 
is try and not just reframe what we're doing and not just highlight the technology that can help us advance, but reframe that mindset because we've been so territorial, we've been so tribal in this industry, even in how we pass down knowledge to our own co-workers because we're afraid they're gonna take our jobs, we're afraid that company across the street's gonna take our business. And I love highlighting the way that when companies say, no, we're in this together, and if we work together, it's gonna bring both of us further, faster, and then really see that working over and over again because a lot of times I turn and do these asides to the camera saying, if you're not in this industry yet, this is for everyone that's already in this industry. If you've come up in that original way of doing things, there is a better way. And companies like Mantle and Westminster Tool are proving that every day. Now, as far as what you got in the booth, anything you want to highlight that we're, we're actually looking at physically for those that aren't going to make it to the show this year? Yeah, I think really where we we strive are just the very complex, challenging parts. Mm -hmm. um, we're primarily medical medical tooling, anywhere from one to 16 cavity tools. And we're really going to look out for you. We really like sign up for any of that risk that is going to be part of whatever your tool is going to be. All right, so what I'm going to tell all of you is if you're somebody working in the trades right now and anything about these companies sounded innovative to you, sounded interesting, I suggest you reach out and see if they have an opportunity to join their team because it sounds like it's a pretty great set of teams to join. And if you're out there running a company right now and anything about these companies say, I would like to work with them, I think they'd be a great vendor for us, they'd be a great partner for us. We haven't come across two companies more open to partnerships since we've been here at PT Expo. So make sure you check them out online. And if you liked what you learned here, make sure you follow us, give us a like and share on any of the social media platforms you see us on and keep an eye on YouTube for our next video from PT Expo. Thank you all, have a great day.